when you think about the baby, he actually slapped a fan, mm -hmm. one of his own fans. He slapped the shit out of her. Mm -hmm. We all seen the evidence. We all seen the video. Another thing is he also shot and killed a guy in Walmart. But it, could it you was speak to those? Could you speak was, to those things? It, we all know that he killed a guy in Walmart. It's 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 tens of thousands of motherfuckers in jail for shit that they didn't do. You think that they know he killed a guy in Walmart with all the cameras and he wouldn't be locked the fuck up right now if it wasn't self defense? Come on, y'all can flip it how y'all want to flip it because of what happened. But let's stick to the facts. They know he did that. If it was illegal, he would be locked up, and it's not. Is there a possibility that that man could have been sucking dick in the parking lot? <laughs> There is a possibility that, that that man could have been sucking dick in the parking lot, which will furthermore explain why maybe my client has a little fear of those kind of people being at his concert. If he was sucking dick in the parking lot, I just had and, to kill the nigga and, and, and I was sucking and dick in the parking lot. You, you said fear, so you, you're talking phobia. And that what does that make him? Well, when I you say- You said he had fear right. of this man. What does that make him? Fear, fear. is a phobia. Fear He's of an attacker is, I think, right. a common phobia. We said phobia. the man that fear of an attacker. sucking dick in the if parking lot. If he was sucking dick in the parking lot. he had lot. fear of that man, so what would he be? Fear of an attacker. No further questions, Your Honor. Thank you, Mr. Walker. Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> <laughs> but, but Mr. CP, could you, could you talk about it? Just talk, touch on it just a little bit. You know, instead of canceling the baby, we should take time to teach him. Mm -hmm. uh, there is a... Uh, large strong force by the LGBTQ plus community. They're a strong group and they stand and they fight for what they believe in. Can you speak to that group, the strength of it, instead of trying to cancel him, maybe they could educate him. Could you speak on that a little? You know, bit? the irony of that, Judge, is that here you have a group of people who, for the most part, have been canceled by their parents. Mm. And they're the quickest people to cancel. We talked about how hurt people hurt people. And you get these people into a group and they all feel like they're a family with each other because they understand each other, you know. Um, you see disenfranchised youth in every single group connecting together and having a common enemy of their oppressor. And then once they take that oppressor down, now it's like, what else can we take down? And then you, now you got a game. I think that a community like the LBGTQ community is the perfect community to display some sort of kinmanship and sense of community with people who are misunderstood. I think that they, will be the, they should be the first ones. And I think that, you know, if we did a little bit less canceling and maybe some more counseling, we could help a lot of more people.